keeping of the law of Moses working here as well. Go ahead, read on. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. Uh huh. And when they said the apostles and the elders, they all came together to consider of this matter. But we see clearly that the controversy is over whether or not the Gentiles need to be circumcised, not whether Israel need to be circumcised, but whether the Gentiles need to be circumcised. And they say, and to keep the law of Moses. Go ahead and read on. Verse 7. And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, uh -huh. Men and brethren, you know how that a good while ago God made choice among us uh -huh. that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. Now, you know, Peter talking about when the Lord sent him to talk to Cornelius. And, and uh, he said, so now, Peter said, well, you know, uh, God made a choice that he was going to convert these, these first Gentiles by my mouth. Because, you know, before uh, Paul came on the scene, really, the Lord had already sent Peter to the Gentile to talk to uh, 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 Cornelius. Uh, Cornelius and his friends. And they were converted. So that's what Peter is talking about here. Go ahead and read on. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, uh -huh. giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. Go ahead. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Go ahead. Now, therefore, why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we are, were able to bear? Now, how was that a yoke? How was circumcision a yoke? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because this is dealing with something more than just circumcision here. Circumcision and keeping the law. How was that a yoke? He was eight days old. He didn't have nothing to do with it. Oh. All of a sudden, his daddy just took him in there and cut the foreskin off. Or if they had somebody else, a midwife or whatever, cut the foreskin off. And that was done. He didn't know nothing about it. I was out of yoke for him. Eight days old, you don't know nothing. Yes, so it wasn't no yoke for him, was it? But he talking about something all again. Because he says, circumcise them and keep the law of Moses. Go ahead and read. But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be saved, Go even ahead. as they. Now, now, you know, that was Peter. Now Paul and Barnabas, they're going to stand up and they're going to make their case. Go ahead and read on. Then all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, uh -huh. declaring what miracles and wonders God had wrought among the Gentiles by them. And after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, mm -hmm. Men and brethren, hearken unto me. Go ahead. Simeon had declared how God at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. And to this agree the words of the prophets as it is written. Now he said, now he said, now Simon, Simon, what, what, what he's talking about Peter here. He said he had declared how God at the first uh, did visit the Gentiles uh, by taking out a, a, a people, a name for himself. Go ahead and read on. After this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David. Now he said, and to this agree the words of the prophets as it is written. Now he is quoting here from uh, uh, Amos the ninth chapter. But Amos the ninth chapter ain't said nothing about no circumcision. All it said anything about was he had called some Gentiles. You understand what I'm saying? So this wasn't really about no Gentiles being circumcised here. It was merely about the scripture that he was quoting was merely about some Gentiles being called. That was all that it was. Go ahead and read on. Which is falling down. Yeah. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up. Go ahead and read. That the residue of men might seek after the Lord, uh -huh. and all the Gentiles upon, upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doeth all these things. He said what he said, and all the Gentiles upon wh whom my name is called doeth all of these things. Go ahead and read on. Known unto God are all his works Go from ahead. the beginning of the world. Uh -huh. Wherefore my sentence is... Wait, wait, he didn't say wherefore the scripture. <laughs> and there was plenty of scripture. That's right. He didn't say wherefore when the Lord spoke with Abraham and made the covenant with him and his seed and the stranger. He didn't say wherefore the scripture. He didn't say wherefore the Lord said unto Moses, if you're going to keep the Passover, then you, the stranger, all must be. He ain't said nothing about none of that. No. <laughs> wherefore, my sentence is. He's giving you his opinion. And I understand what they was doing. 
Because they was trying not to overburden mm -hmm. the stranger. Because yes, the strangers was just starting to come in this right, thing. Right. And they was trying not to overburden the stranger. Yes, right. However, they neglected the scripture. The scripture said, God said, all males, whether they be uh, Abraham's seed or the stranger, must be circumcised or they will be cut off from his people. Amen. But I understand that because they try not to overburden the Gentiles. People just coming into the world and you start throwing all this stuff. You can't do that no more. We can't do that no more. We can't do this no more. You can't you got to do this. Got to do this. Got to do this. So, oh, man, I don't want no part of this stuff. Yes, I can't do nothing I used to do. Yes, sir. And all the stuff I want to do, I can't do it no more. So now they ain't trying to keep them over, over burning the strength. But sometimes you just have to lay it on the last. Yes, sir. And let it fall wherever it will. That's right, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they should have just laid it on the yes, last. But I'm going to show you something. They never really, uh, really said that they didn't just have to be circumcised. This was really more about the law of Moses than it was about the circumcision. Look what he said. He says, so wherefore my sentence is, what verse are 19? 19. Go ahead and read. That we trouble not them, which, which from among the Gentiles are turned to God. So he said, my sentence is that we trouble not them, wherefore from among the Gentiles have turned unto God. Go ahead and read. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols. See what it said? But we write unto them that they abstain from pollution of idols. Go ahead and read on. And from fornication. Uh -huh. And from things strangled. Go and ahead. from blood. In other words, well, so that they can lie still, break the Sabbath. Is that what he's saying? No, that ain't what he's saying. But all he said is, my sinners is, is that they abstain from pollution and from idols and from fornication and stain, uh, uh, strangle for blood. Go ahead and read on. For Moses of old time hath in every city uh -huh. them that preach him, being read in the synagogues every Sabbath day. Now, let's go. To, we coming back here in a minute, but let's go to Acts chapter 21. And we're going to pick it up at verse 17. Acts chapter 21 and we're going to pick it up at verse 17 because this whole thing people it was more about uh keeping the law of moses you know all of them sacrifices and rituals all of that stuff that they had to do it wasn't really about circumcision a little bit maybe but it was more so about them rituals that they had to do show you something here. Start reading at Acts 21, and we'll pick it up at verse 17. 21 and 17. Go ahead and read, bro. And when we were come to Jerusalem, the brethren received us gladly. Uh -huh. And the day following, Paul went in with us unto James, and all the elders were present. Go ahead and read. And when he had saluted them, he declared particularly what things God had wrought among the Gentiles by his ministry. See what it said? Now Paul telling them, you know, all the things that God had worked among the Gentiles by his ministry. Go ahead and read on. And when they heard it, they glorified the Lord uh -huh. and said unto him, Go ahead. Thou seest, brother, how many thousands of Jews there are which believe, mm. and they are all zealous of the law. See what they told him? He said, now you, uh, you see, uh, Paul, how, how many thousands uh, of, of Jews there are, and they all are zealous for the law. Go ahead, read on. And they are informed of thee, that thou teachest all the Jews which are among the Gentiles to forsake Moses. And, but, but that wasn't the case, was it? He didn't, he didn't never say Israel didn't have to be circumcised. But this is the story that came up. Say, so, you know, we've been informed that you are teaching all the Jews that are among the Gentiles to forsake the law of Moses. This is what we've been told. Now, what I, this is what I want you to do, Paul. Go ahead, read on. Saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, uh, neither to walk after the customs. See what I'm saying? Saying that they ought not to say, but Paul never said that to the Jews, did he? But, but, they, but that's what he's being accused of here. But he says, saying, Thou ought not to circumcise thy children, and neither to walk after the customs of Moses. Go ahead, read on. What is it, therefore? Uh -huh. The multitude must needs come together, for they will hear that, that thou art come. Now he said, this, this is what you need to do. He said, because you know we got Israel right here, and they're going to hear that you showed up. Now this is what I want you to do, Paul. Go ahead, read on. Do therefore this that we say to thee. Uh -huh. For we have four men which have a vow on them, 
them take and purify thyself with them. They and say, you know, we got four men that got bound. And, you know, they were still dealing with that stuff. You know, you go back in Numbers 6, chapter, you read when you did a vow. Then you wasn't supposed to drink no wine and all of that kind of stuff. And then, after, you know, if you broke the vow, then you had to go and shave your head and all of that stuff. So, you know, he, you had some that were still trying to deal in that. Even though that was all done away with when Jesus died on the cross. So it wasn't more than just about the circumcision. It was about keeping the law of Moses with well, all of them customs that you had to keep because the book said that you were supposed to keep them. Go ahead and read on. And be at charges with them uh -huh. that they may shave their heads. See what I'm saying? This is what they were talking about. Go ahead. What verse are we? Middle of verse 24. Go ahead and read. And all may know that those things whereof they were informed concerning thee are nothing. Uh -huh. But that thou thyself also walkest orderly and keepest the law. Go ahead and read. As touching the Gentiles which believe, mm -hmm. we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing. Now he said, as touching the Gentiles, we have written and we have concluded that they do not observe such so We're telling you to go and do all this stuff, Paul. You know, you go and shave your head and, and bow with all of them and all of that. But as concerning the Gentiles, we have written that they don't need to do this. This is what they need to do. Go ahead and read on. Save only that they keep themselves from things offered to idols uh -huh. and from blood and from strangled and from fornication. Go ahead. Then Paul took the men and the next day purifying himself with them entered into the temple uh -huh. to signify the accomplishment of the days of purification uh -huh. until that an offering should be offered for every one of them. So now, you know, they were still into these customs of Moses here. But he said, now to the strangers or to the Gentiles, you know, y'all don't need to do all this. You know, you just refrain from fornication and from, and from, and, and from blood, uh, things strangled for blood and all of that stuff. But we're going to find out it was more to it. Let's go now back to Acts 15, and we're going to pick it up at verse 24. 15 and 24. 15 and 24. Okay, go ahead and read. For as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with huh. words. Now he said, now we have heard certain that went out from you. This is the letter that they wrote back to those strangers. He said, we have heard that there is some that went out from among you. They have troubled you with words. This is what they are saying to the strangers here. Go ahead and read on. Subverting your soul, uh -huh. saying, Go ahead. you must be circumcised and keep the law. To, to whom we gave no such command. They saying that you must be circumcised and keep the law unto whom we gave no such commandment. Go ahead, read on. It seemed good unto us uh -huh. being assembled with one accord. Now, wait a minute. He said it seemed good unto us being assembled with one. So they, you know, they, what, they talking about what seemed good unto them. Yes, they said it seemed good unto us because they try not to overburden these people. Go ahead, read on. To send chosen men unto you with our beloved partner. Barnabas and Paul, uh -huh. men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead, me. We have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same things by mouth. Uh -huh. For it seemed good to the Holy Ghost and to us uh -huh. to lay upon you no greater burden than these necessary than these necessary things. Go ahead, me. That you abstain from meats offered to idols uh -huh. and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication, uh -huh. from which if ye keep yourselves you shall do well, fare ye well. So now I'll say it again. They ain't said nothing about no, don't lie, don't steal, keep the, they ain't said nothing about none of that. So, you know, it was more to it than meet the eye here. Because I'm going to show you something here. This was more than about circumcision. It was more so about keeping the custom of Moses than it was about circumcision. And this is why I said it. Let's go into Acts chapter 16, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. Now, Paul here is about to deal with Timothy, and Timothy is a Gentile because his father was a Gentile. Show you what he did with Timothy. Acts chapter 16, and we'll start reading at verse 1. Acts 16, pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read, brother. Then came he to Derby and Lystra, uh -huh. and behold, a certain disciple is there named Timotheus, Go ahead. the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewess, uh -huh. and believed. But his father was a Greek. Now, his father was a Greek. That meant he was a Gentile. So, you know, father was a Greek. That meant he was a Greek. But now, look at what Paul did for him.